everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. We are so excited to have you and do one of our favorite Valentine projects, which is our Big Gem Valentines. And here you can see lovely Meredith. Hi, Meredith. Hi. And if I didn't say, we are from Faber Castell Creativity for Kids, and we're thank you for Michaels for uh, letting us host this wonderful class. So take it away, Meredith. Well, hello, everybody, and thank you for joining us tonight or today for this very special edition of our Big Gem Diamond Painting uh, for Valentine's Day. So what you'll see is how to do the Big Gem Diamond Painting, which is so easy but with such great results, and then how to turn them into Valentine's to give to people that you care about. So let's start by opening up the box. Da, 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 da. Let's see, what do we have inside here? All right, I always like to start by putting the instructions within reach. So we've got our instructions. And in this bag, we have lots of bags of little gems. And these are all very beautifully colored, all hand-picked for this set, the magical Big Gem Diamond Painting set. So purple, yellow, turquoise blue, lime green, our beautiful orange, pink, kind of like magenta. And then my favorite, which is like the opaly color. So that's what we have. Then we have this cute little square of wax. And we'll get to what that's for in a little bit. We have our application tool. And I will be showing you how to use that. And we also have our oops, little stands and our suction cups with a little hanger on it. We have two of each of those. And those will go with our sun catchers, which I'm pulling out right now, our beautiful unicorn sun catcher, and our rainbow happy cloud sun catcher. And then finally, we have all of our very fun little Big Gem Dining stickers that this is what we'll be decorating. So they're very shiny and so shiny that it's definitely casting a glare, but I'll just show you the back side too. It's holographic, it's a rainbow holographic. So this is very exciting. I'm so happy you're here and let's get started. So move this out of the way a little bit. So it says to clear your workspace, you have plenty of room to work. Spread out your colorful gem bags, gem tray, which is here, your stylus, and your wax square. Now, if you do not have this kit at home, what you can use instead are little flat backed frying stones that you can find at Michael's. And you can also use some glue, like in a glue stick or actual um, Elmer's glue or white glue. And you can use your own stickers. So you can decorate your own stickers with rhinestones and make them super sparkly as well. So you can play along too. All right, so open up, here we go. Uh, prep your gems. So what we're gonna do is open up all of our little bags of gems and we're gonna just put a little pile in each corner of our tray to kind of keep all of the colors separated as much as we can. And if they don't stay separated, which they usually do not, it's okay because uh, you're gonna use them all anyway. And it's just pretty when they all mix anyway. So let's do that. So 
I'm wondering who's excited about Valentine's Day. I mean, we do have a, a little bit of time before Valentine's Day. It's only January, but it comes up pretty quickly in February. But I'm very excited for it because I love giving Valentine's to people that I care about. It's just a really nice way to remind someone that you're thinking of them and you care for them and brings them a little bit of joy. So I think it's fun. I agree, Meredith. And, and doing a homemade version of a Valentine feels even more special because you're putting your own creative touch on it, you know? Oh, yeah, I definitely agree. Yep. There we go. And I know sometimes in school you got to make little Valentines and little mailboxes to put Valentines in. I don't know if they still do that or not, but back in the day when I was in elementary school, we used to use a shoe box and we would decorate the shoe box and then put a slit in it so people could slide the Valentines into your little mailbox. It was so fun. I agree. Catherine says, we can't wait for Valentine's Day. Thank you, Catherine. Hey. I was excited. Hey, good. Hey, Catherine. So I'm just putting a, a few out. I'm not dumping the whole bags out, but I can always add more if I need to. So I'm happy to hear that other people know what Valentine's are just because with emails and texts and all of the technology we have today, I could imagine that some people might just send um, an email or a text rather than making a card and they might forget how fun it is to make a card. So everyone here in our class, we get a little reminders as to how fun this is. And we get to bling it up with these beautiful, sparkly, big gem diamond painting stickers. Oh, and by the way, what we will be using today for our Valentines is actually downloadable on the Michaels and on the Creativity for Kids website. And it looks like this. So it's a sheet of all of these really fun Valentine cards that you can print out. And what you end up doing is you cut out which Valentines you wanna use. And then you can kind of see like a shadow of where you can place your sticker. So then when you're done, you just put your sticker on there. So we will get to that a little bit later, but that's just a heads up. If you want to print out your Valentine sheet, it is available online and you just need an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper to print it out on. And our friend Michelle just attached it in the chat. So if you didn't download it yet, you can download it there. Cool. So another thing I like about Valentine's Day is that usually somebody who cares about me sends me chocolate. And I really like chocolate. So that makes Valentine's even better. Okay, here's our last one, which is my favorite. Gosh, they're just so pretty, like little diamonds or little snowflakes. Just love them so much. All right, so I'm gonna put all these over to the side and we'll go back to those if we need to replenish our colors here. But I think this should be good for now. Okay, we'll put our little stands and our little suction cups over here too until it's time for those. All right, so next thing we wanna do, so it says to start with the stickers. So here's our stickers. And you can see printed on the sticker sheet, maybe that's kind of hard to see. 
we'll put this up right here. There's a little dotted line that goes between all the stickers. Now that little dotted line is to help you cut out which sticker you want. So you're only gonna be working on one sticker at a time. So which sticker should we do first? Should we do the unicorn, the star with the rainbow, the rainbow with the happy clouds, the catacorn, the popsicle corn, or the panda corn? What do you think, Jennifer? Do our friends out there have a choice? What do they think? Unicorn is what they're saying. Unicorn or catacorn? Oh, okay. Well, I don't think I have a unicorn sample out here. So I think I'll do the unicorn. Thank you for your suggestions. So all you do is you cut out the one that you want to work on, just like that. And put the rest over here. And we have our little unicorn. Now you'll notice that there's a top layer of plastic on it. That top layer of plastic is protecting the stickiness of the sticker. So you can just remove this. And on top of the sticker, there's all these little dots of stickiness, which is where you're going to put your rhinestones. So that's what makes the rhinestone stick on these stickers or the little dots of stickiness. So we've got that. Now it's time for the little wax square. So you will see that the wax square also has a little clear sheet on both sides. And you only want to take off the top clear sheet and leave the bottom clear sheet on. So we'll put that there. And next, you will see on our stylus that, let's see, can you see? There's a bit of a hole in the tip of it. Now, that hole is what you gather the wax with. And why we're doing this is because you get a little wax in here. It kind of fills up that hole with the wax. Now it makes it super easy to pick up a rhinestone. See, <laughs> it's so cool. So it picks up the rhinestone so you don't have to try and pick up a little baby rhinestone with your fingers. So this tool is super duper helpful. And then you just place the rhinestone on one of the dots. So you can see now there's a ring rhinestone on the dot that's sticky on the sticker and it just stays on. So you can move it around and everything and it, it stays on automatically. So then you just keep going like that and you can do, you can follow the colors that are kind of already there for you, or you can mix it up a little bit and you can add whatever colors you want. So I'll do how the colors are kind of suggested. Maybe I'll move this over here so you can see. And maybe the next one I'll go a little crazy and do some different colors. So does anyone have any questions about this? Doesn't this look fun and easy? To me, it's super fun and super easy. And it goes by really quick. And it's relaxing, I think. Oh my gosh, definitely. I don't have to worry about what color I want to use because it's already kind of suggested. So I, it's almost like a coloring book where you're taking the color of the rhinestone and filling in the colored area on your sticker. So it's very, it goes very quick, especially these little stickers, they go really quick. So you can do a lot of them in one short crafting session, which is super helpful if you're gonna be making a lot of different 
Valentine cards for your friends or for your family members. So look at that. I'm almost all the way done with her hair. Okay, so I don't know if you guys just noticed, but I went to pick one up and it didn't pick up. That's because I need to put a little bit more wax in my stylus. So to do that, you just come back over here and you kind of just grab some from the little wax square. So you just grab it. And if you want, you can kind of just like form it on the tip of it. And now there's more wax on it. So you can go back to looping your sticker with gems. Okay, our unicorn is almost done. Just the horn is left. One and two. Well, look at this beautiful unicorn. She's beautiful, so shiny. Ta da! I okay. love it. So, what do we want to do with it? We want to make a Valentine's card with it. So, what are the options for Valentine's cards? What I have here in front of me is a pre made card. It's a card that I bought at the store, and it's just blank inside. And you can use little cards like this that already exist. This one comes with a cute little envelope. So when you're done decorating your card, you can put it in the envelope and then give it to whomever. Or if you wanted to, if you don't have pre-made cards like that, you could use like a note card and you could just fold the note card in half like that. And then you can stick your sticker on the front like this. And then you can write a sweet little message inside. And since it's a note card, it already has lines. So your writing will stay in line. And then you can use like crayons or markers to decorate it. So that's another option. Or you can use the printout that we mentioned earlier. If you print this out, then you can just, let's see here, we can match up our unicorn fits here. And what it says is you make this world magical. And I think that's super sweet. So for these, you just cut out whichever one you want. And that, and last cut. You do like that. Put these to the side. And I'm going to go ahead and stick this one on because I don't think I have this one out here. So I'm going to make this as a sample to have out during our class. Ta-da! So this is all ready to give to someone. And if you want, you can put their name on the back and write a little message and then just give it to them or put it in a little envelope and send it to them. So we've got plenty of options for that. Looks great. And we yeah, have a so lot of another one. Yeah, we have a lot of friends requesting the shooting star. Ooh, okay. The shooting star. So again, we're just gonna cut it along the lines. We're going to remove the top layer to reveal the stickiness on top. We're gonna get our stylus ready. Let's take a look. Is there any wax left in there? Yeah, there is. I'm just gonna reform it on top there. And, ooh, I said I was gonna kind of not follow the color suggestions on this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my favorite 
which is the white opaly kind. And I'm gonna fill in the star with my favorite. Okay, you get back in there. All right, a second, it didn't stick. There we go. Ta-da. And here we go. It's going quickly again. So if you and your friend both had this kit, you guys could actually race to see who can fill in their big gem diamond painting stickers first. Not that you need to do that, but it just might be some kind of fun game that you could play. So those are already on. Oops. And I'm gonna put my wax back on the tip of my stylus. Okay, time for the pink. One, two, three, four. All right. Very, very easy and fun to do. So I don't think I mentioned this, but so many people like this kit that it's actually up for an award. So it'll be super exciting. We don't find out if it gets this award or not until February, but if it does, we will definitely let you know. So that would be super duper exciting. Oh, that one's stuck too. There we go. And my wax is getting a little wonky, so I'm gonna refill my wax again. We need the green, lime green. So I think these would be super fun to decorate a lot of different cards for a lot of different um, occasions. So this green is making me think of St. Patrick's Day. And I think St. Patrick's Day involves a lot of green things, but also a lot of rainbows. So you could even make a St. Patrick's Day card and put a little sparkly big gem diamond painting rainbow on it. So you could make cards for other holidays as well. Okay, we'll push those on there. And this is how it looks with instead of yellow on the star, a white on the star. So very pretty. Fun. Okay, cool. Now I think I'm going to put this one on the note card. And what I'll do really quickly is put a background color on here. And since there's no purple in this design, I think I'll use the purple crayon and just open it back up and color. Just give it a, a nice background color. To disguise that it's actually a note card. There we go. <laughs> okay. And then I'll put it back over. And then we'll peel it off. And stick it on. Ta-da! It's a beautiful homemade valentine, or at least the front of the valentine. I need something to write inside. What should we write inside of this valentine? Let's see if any of our viewers have any suggestions on what I could write inside. Does anyone have any thoughts? Manuela says, I love you. Aw, I like that, Manuela. And, and Maya says, a pot of gold. Oh, okay. Well, I think I'll, I'll start first with, I love you. I L O V E 
Y-O-U. Cool, I love it. All right, so we have our handmade Valentine here, and I'll put that one up here. Okay, so do we have another request for another sticker? Or should we do one of our um, sun catchers instead? What do you think? Do a sun catcher. Or we had some requests for the catacorn earlier. Ooh, let's do the catacorn. Okay, catacorn yeah. it is. These go by so quickly that we'll have time to do both. So catacorn, here we come. And then we remove the top. And we are all ready to color this sticker in with our big gems. So I'll grab a little bit more wax in our stylus. <clears throat> and here we go. So I'm gonna start with the unicorn horn first, the catacorn horn first. And I'll put yellow. And I'm gonna stray a little bit away from the colors they suggest. And I'm gonna put pink next. And you can see all my pink ones were kind of flipped over. So you can, all you have to do, if, if your gems are facing the wrong way and the color isn't facing up, you can kind of just like, move them around with your finger or with your stylus, the tip of your stylus, and they should just flip over automatically. So pink, and then I'm gonna put a purple one. Now it's a multicolor uh, catacorn horn. But then I think the rest I'll just do like how it's suggested. So I'll make the catacorn blue. So, oops, it's stuck on my finger. So, Jennifer, do you like Valentine's Day? Oh, yeah. I like it for the chocolates, like you said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a really nice perk of Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. And it's just fun to tell all the people you, you care about how much you care about them and, you know, just make them smile with a lovely little Valentine. I agree. I really like surprising people with things that make them feel good. So Valentines are a nice way to do that. And speaking of surprises, I think the next Valentine I'm gonna show you is how to make a pop-up Valentine. So I'm gonna use construction paper and construction paper is basically just like colored paper. And it's a little, it has a little bit of a different texture than what the paper that you would use in a printer is. So, if you don't have construction paper and you have just regular paper, you can use that too, if you'd like to follow along. But if you do have construction paper and you wanna run over and go get it, you can do that while we're finishing up our catacorn. There we go. And we just need to do this tail now. There we go. Orange, yellow, and green. Okay, cool. All right, so our beautiful sticker is all done. I'm gonna put our big jumps to the side for a second. And I'm gonna show you what I mean about a pop-up Valentine. So I did this one just to show you guys and I didn't finish it, but how it works is that someone would open it up and the heart pops out at you. So you can kind of see different angles. Close and open. 
So would anyone like to learn how to make one of these? Because I'm happy to show you. Here we go. So I'm going to use a yellow piece of paper. And this is what the heart is going to be made out of. The heart that pops out of the card. So all you need to do is fold your paper in half. And I'm going to cut my paper kind of in half because I don't need it to be that big. There you go. I'm only going to use half. And then I'm going to draw only half of a heart on my paper. And I'm going to use, I'll use this green crayon so you guys can see. So I'm going to draw half of a heart. So what you do instead of cutting the entire heart out, you're only going to cut, let's see, up to this line and this line. So this part you're not going to cut. And I made it a different color to remind myself not to cut that area. So get our scissors. And you want to leave a little space down here. So you don't want your cut to touch the bottom of the paper. But you're going to cut on the fold following your line. And then up here, the same thing. You're not going to cut all the way up here. You're going to cut here. So around the top of the heart. And stop when you get to the red line. Ta -da! Okay, cool. So now it's super easy. You just open it up and you push the center of the heart out like that. And you can kind of see right here, this is where it was folded before. If you don't see it, I'll kind of turn the paper a little. So see how it's folded like this? Well, you open it up, you push the heart out, and you fold it the opposite way of your card. So you fold it this way. So now, when you open up your card, it'll pop out at the person. So it won't happen until we put the other part of the card on. So you need another piece of paper. And this piece should fit inside of the other piece. So you need to make this new piece a little bit bigger than this inside piece. So how you do that, you just fold the paper over what you just did. And then I'm going to use my crayon again to mark where I'm going to cut. And right about here. So. Like that. And then this. And then we just have to glue our card inside. So I think I need to fold this a little bit more. There we go. 
So I have a glue stick here that'll be very helpful. And if you don't have a glue stick, you can use tape or actual glue. But what you have to do is just glue this inside piece into the outside card. So that's one side. I'm going to line up my paper and just fold the outside card over it and push down. And then flip it over and do the same thing. Add some glue. Oh, lots of glue. Very gooey glue. There we go. And then fold it over and push it. Okay, here's the big reveal. Let's see if it worked. Da -da 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 -da. Hey, uh, here's our heart. Okay, so we made a pop-up card. And there are a lot of easier pop-up cards to make that you can find instructions on the internet. But now we're gonna jazz up our pop-up card with our catacorn. So catacorn, I think, will go right in the center. And I think catacorn possibly rides around on a cloud. So I'm gonna draw a cloud for our catacorn to ride around on because that seems pretty magical and catacorns are pretty magical. I'll just color that in real quick with our crayons. There we go. And I think it would look cool if we added some hearts and some stars maybe. So hearts. Yeah, they're so cool. And some stars, maybe blue stars. Because our catacorn is blue, so that'll match. Da, 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 da. Okay, now here's the big thing. What are we gonna put inside? What should we write inside this one? Any ideas? You are meowless. <laughs> <laughs> and Abigail says, uh, you make me smile. <laughs> Riley says you make me happy. Oh, those are great. <laughs> I don't know how to spell meowvelous. So or fantastic, Maggie says. Fantastic. I think I can sound that one out. So I'm going to write that one. So you are, I'll put cat over here. Cat. Fantastic. <laughs> and I'll sign my initials. Yay! Uh, thank you so much for your advice. I think this will look super cool. Like, oh, here, here, a friend. I'm going to give you a Valentine. Oh, wait, what? What's that inside? Oh, it's a fun pop out. You are catastic. Ta -da. Okay, so that's great. Very good. Now let's move on. We have a little bit more time. I'm going to show you real quick how to do one of our sun catchers. So for this, you will need the instruction sheet. And if you turn the instruction sheet over to the back, you'll see your sun catchers. And what you're going to do is line up your sun catchers 
So you can see all the little dots that are printed on the instructions. You'll be able to see them when you're doing your um, diamond painting. So you'll notice, just like on the stickers, there is a protective sheet on your sun catcher. So you're gonna remove that. And now you're gonna line up your sun catcher on your sheet. And now you're all ready to just follow the dots as to where to put your big gems. Okay. And for this one, you can do whatever colors you want. So, of course, I'm going to start with my favorite, which is the white. And I'm just going to start going around the cloud. This cloud is laughing, the laughing cloud, because this cloud is super happy. No rain coming from this cloud. There we go. So as I was saying before, there are a ton of different ideas for Valentine's out there. And like Jennifer said, any Valentine that you make yourself and you sign your name to is going to be special because you took the time to make it or to sign your name to it. So it's a really great way to show someone that you care about them or that you're thinking about them. I agree. And before we wrap things up, does anybody have any questions? No questions. Okay. Maybe you want to show them how to do the final, once you're done completing the sun catcher, what you can then do, how you oh, can sure. up or. Yeah, I'm totally happy to do that. So I'm just going to finish up the outline of this cloud. And then I'll show you my sun catcher that I already completed and how you can do one of two things. You can stand your sun catcher up or you can hang it on a window. So, okay, so I just did the outline of this cloud, as you can see here. And since I'm not going to finish this right now, I'm going to take the paper that I peeled from the top of it, and I'm going to put this paper back on top of it so I can keep all the stickiness sticky until I want to come back and finish it. So we'll put that aside. And here's one that I did finish. Super pretty. So what Jennifer was talking about is this is a stand. Let's see if I can show you. It's kind of hard to see, but in the glare of the light, you'll see it's a little plastic piece that's kind of like half of an oval and there's a slit inside like on the in the center so you're going to line this slit up to the slit on our um, sun catcher so they just fit in together like that so you can kind of see and it will stand up just like that so Let's see if I can balance it on something and you can actually see how it stands. So it stands very well. So if you don't want to hang it in a window, you can have it up sitting on your desk or on your nightstand or wherever you want. But if you do have a window, what you would do is wet the back of this suction cup just a little bit so it's damp and then you would stick that to the window and then since there's a little hook 
you would put your sun catcher on the hook and it would hang. So there you go. Awesome, thank you for showing that. And, and for all of our friends out there, you know, we do have a couple other designs available in these uh, kits. So if you're looking for different themes or whatnot, you can just check that out um, on our website. And remember this class is being recorded. So if you wanna go back and rewatch it and learn how to do your pop-up or learn fun tips, it's just on michaels.com uh, slash online classes. Exactly. Thank you, everybody, for being here with us. And again, if you have any questions or if you want to share what you've created, please feel free to jump on our Facebook page and share some pictures or reach out to us um, through our website or through Michael's. And we hope to see you for our next class, which is actually we have a class tomorrow. So maybe I'll see you there. Have a good night. Bye. Happy